Don't want to mislead. This is all you need. Be your everything. Yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. Not just in it for the thrill. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I did all the grocery pickup today through Instacart. And I did that because I've just not been feeling good this week and I needed to do something quick and easy. I'm excited to see everything that they picked out for me and see how the quality is. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Mom life. Okay, so anyways, um, so yeah, I'm excited to see everything and the quality and all that to see how Instacart did for Aldi. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And to all my subscribers that are already subscribed, I just want to say thank you so much. My channel is growing and I just hit 1000 subscribers just a couple days ago and I'm so thankful. And I will be doing a giveaway soon, guys, to celebrate that. I am so thankful and grateful for you guys. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button and like this video. And let's just get into my Aldi haul. I got some cage-free eggs. I got two cartons. I usually do two cartons for one week. And then I got some cotton candy grapes. These are so good, guys. I definitely recommend them. I have been like raving about these in my last two hauls. And these are so good. You have to get these if you've not tried them. They taste like cotton candy. And then I got some baby carrots for my girls. They just love those. And I also do as well. Some sprouted bread. This bread is really good and I definitely recommend it. Um, if you guys have ever tried Ezekiel bread, this is like it, but even better. And it's like half the price. So it's so, such a good find that I found recently. I also picked up some honey wheat bread. I got some garlic knots. These are so good. I got these a couple weeks back and I just, um, used them in a meal. I threw them in the freezer and these are so yummy. They're so soft and so good. They taste like they are from like a pizza place. So I definitely recommend those. Uh, my daughter has been asking me for pomegranate for so long and I've not been able to find them until now. I also got some of this delightfully pure real milk and cream creamer and this is in the flavor sweet cream. So I got that to try out. It looks really good. I also got some half and half. Some 2% organic milk. This is really good and such a good price. I also picked up some of this chocolate almond milk I have heard that Aldi's is really yummy, so I'm looking forward to trying theirs out. And then I got some of these Campari tomatoes, and these are on the vine. Like, oh, these ones aren't on the vine. Interesting. <laughs> well, they were on the vine last time I got them, but anyways, um, these are really good tomatoes, and I definitely recommend those. And then back here, I got two avocados that look like they need to be ripened on the counter for a couple days. Some pears. These are just the Bartlett pears, and... I just love pears and so do my daughters. I got some cucumber. Um, this is what my cucumber looks like, guys. This cucumber literally has been through the ringer. It's open on one end, it's smashed, and it doesn't look very good, so I'm getting my money back for that. I got some romaine hearts just to cut up and wash myself. And then, guys, okay, so this is my Instacart adventure. This is my first time doing it with Aldi, and I have no idea what this is. Guys, I have no idea. This was in my bag, and I don't even know what this is. It wasn't in like anything that I paid for. So someone something, I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what this is? Like, it looks like some type of melon. If you know what this is, please tell me in the comments below. And then I got some cheese and garlic croutons just to have on hand. Some sweet onions, I love sweet onions. We just use those in so many things. I got some New York sharp cheddar cheese and this is the undyed white kind and this is so good. I love this cheese. I've been getting it like every week for a while now. And I also got some mozzarella. This is for a recipe coming up. I grabbed some sweet cream butter. And then I wanted to try out all these non-fat Greek yogurts. And these are the ones with fruit on the bottom. I got blueberry and I got a raspberry just to try out 
and I'm looking forward to seeing if those are good. I also picked up some linguine that is for a recipe coming up here. I got some pure vanilla extract just to have on hand for the baking season that is upon us. I got some chamomile tea and um, just to have more of that on hand. I also got some apple cider vinegar. Mine was gone and I used that to uh, do all sorts of things. I love apple cider vinegar. I also got my youngest daughter some dill pickle chips. She loves dill pickles. And then I got some homestyle waffles. I've never tried all these before, so that's gonna be interesting to see if those are good. I got some Mesquite Barbecue Kettle Chips, just the Clancy's brand, which is the Aldi brand. I got some Fritos because I'm going to be making chili coming up here in the next week. And then I also got some kettle chips that are sea salt and vinegar. I picked up some flour tortillas just to have on hand for making quesadillas. And then I picked up a whole bunch of frozen fish this time. So I got some tartar sauce to go along with that. I'm gonna be making like some fish and chips. Hopefully that goes well. I don't think I've ever made my own fish and chips. So looking forward to that recipe and to see if all these tartar sauce is good. And then we're gonna be having spaghetti for Halloween. I have like the spooky little pasta shapes that Aldi had a couple weeks back for Halloween. And then I'm gonna be using my pasta sauce. I got a tomato basil. And then I also got this four cheese sauce. And I've not tried this one out. I've tried this one out, this one's good. And then this one is new to me. I got some peanut butter. This is the No Stir Creamy. I think this is supposed to be like natural gif, which is what I usually get. Lots of stock up items here, guys. This is kind of a stock up haul. And then I got some tomato sauce. I'm gonna be making chili, like I said. And then some diced tomatoes for that as well. I also got a can of Aldi's New England style clam chowder. Uh, this is definitely new. I have not tried it yet. I got a can of cream of chicken soup. I got some pineapple slices and some beef broth. This is for the chili. Okay guys, and then here are some Aldi finds this week. I picked up some of these Belgian cocoa dusted truffles. This looked so good to me. I have been eyeing these the last two weeks and I finally got some for myself just to have around as my mom treat, I call them. Just when I need a little bit of chocolate, if you know what I'm talking about. And then I also got some of their European dark chocolate. I heard that all these like imported chocolate is so good and these are supposed to be really, really good, really good creamy chocolate. So I'm looking forward to trying their chocolate out. And then this is new in the last two weeks as well and these are the Bremer Euros Complete Sandwich Kit. And I think I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight and it comes with the meat, the pitas, and the tzatziki sauce. And I'll just need to add onions, tomatoes, and cucumbers and that just looks so good and so fun. Just makes an easy dinner. I also picked up this specialty cinnamon croissant toast. This just sounded so good and like so interesting. I really like croissants, so that looked really fun and interesting. Okay, and then I got some pepperoni pizza um, stuffed sandwiches, just like Hot Pockets. We have not tried the Aldi brand. These are their mozzarella cheese sticks and that might just be fun to have as a little snack, a little appetizer. And then I got some steamed mixed vegetables just to have on hand. I also picked up some breakfast sausage and these are just their original links and these are really, really good. I definitely recommend them. And then I got this new brand of lunch meat and this is might be because I'm at another Aldi because I've not seen this at my Aldi here in Virginia, but since I went to West Virginia, these are new to me, and these are the Never Any Uncured Black Forest Ham, and they had a whole bunch of like turkey, ham, and chicken, and this just looked really good, like a really good brand. I got some fresh ground turkey for a recipe, and the beef for chili, and then guys, a couple weeks ago I got these, and these are the Kirkwood Crispy Chicken Strips, and these are so good, guys. These, in my opinion, are better than the Red Bag. So I definitely recommend those. I also got some tilapia to have for dinner one night. And then I also got some Alaskan cod to make fish and chips with, and some aluminum foil, 
And last but not least is this huge tower of humidifiers. <laughs> So this was the Aldi find this week that I was most excited about. I'm hoping these are good and good quality and everything like that. Um, they look really nice. They're like a little fox humidifier for my daughter's rooms. And there was an option between the fox and the unicorn and I got the fox because my daughters like the fox way better than the unicorn. And it's just so cute. They needed a humidifier for this winter and fall with the drier weather. And it has seven auto cycles of different colors. And it also has a little aromatherapy pad it comes with. Or you can use essential oils. And I'll be using my essential oils. I have like a Sweet Dreams essential oil that I love to use for them at night. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out and hopefully they work good. So yeah, that is my Aldi haul guys. <laughs> it's really big and just full of a lot of stock up items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you around. And I hope you guys are having a great day or night or evening, morning time, whenever it is that you find this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.